Good morning. It's a beautiful day to be alive, except it's technically not the morning anymore. I've actually been filming all morning for a huge, very in-depth video of all my Gymshark favorites from 2018, plus the massive, massive sales that we're about to be on, like, 70% off. So that will be my next video that you see, but today I'm going to be taking you through a step-by-step -step Demba only leg workout. Now, when I first started going to the gym, I was actually petrified, terrified, appalled by barbells, okay? Me and barbells, and sometimes even machines. We, we didn't get along. I was too scared of them. The best way to get comfortable in the gym is to get comfortable with some dumbbells first. So it'll be a great workout for beginners. Grab a pair of dumbbells, head to the corner of the gym, girl. Do your thing over there. But also, sometimes squat racks, they just get a... Uh, a bit full. So this will be the perfect workout for my girls that only have a pair of dumbbells. I'm gonna walk you through it. It's gonna be hot fire flames workout. I will see you at the gym. I start every single leg day off with glute activation exercises. Now these exercises are amazing if you have stubborn glutes. If you have a hard time feeling your glutes throughout your leg workouts, I definitely suggest starting off with some of these isolation movements. So I'm tossing on a band. These are my favorite because they're basically a carbon copy of the rubber elastic resistance bands, except these are made from a much thicker material. They don't break. They're not going to roll on you or slide down. So I have an entire video dedicated on glute activation exercises if you have more questions, but there's really no right or wrong way. I just pick a few of my favorite exercises, toss a band onto it, and then do this until my glutes are turned on. They're ready to go. They're fired up. They're ready for this leg day. So I did about five minutes of an incline, walking, slow, steady state, nothing crazy. Coming in here, doing glute activation to help turn on my glutes, get them pumped, get them going. Okay, let's jump into the dumbbell portion of this workout. Starting this workout off with a dumbbell squat. So my feet are past shoulder width apart, toes and knees pointing out, hinging at the hips, keeping your back nice and flat. I like to stop just short of a full rep so that I'm keeping all tension in my glutes and my hamstrings. This stance right here takes a lot of pressure off of your knees. So if you have weak knees, definitely try a sumo position like I'm doing here. Now, after you finish your squats, you are going to move into small baby pulses by the time you finish this set, okay? three of them, you're going to be crying, girl. So here are the pulses here. Slow, controlled, small movements. This is an, also an exercise. I know you can lift heavier than you think you can because you're not pulling the weight up. It's just hanging in front of you. So challenge yourself here, girl. All right, you guys, we are now moving into a hamstring superset. So we're doing two exercises focus on the hamstring we're going to do them back to back and then we'll rest about a minute and a half to two minutes in between each set my hamstrings are crying let's get it this first exercise is something i would compare to a cable pull through but instead of using a cable machine we are using a dumbbell hinging at the hips keeping your back nice and flat. I have that same wide sumo position, slight bend in my knees. I'm bringing the dumbbell back behind me. You'll get an amazing stretch in your hamstrings, pressing your hips forward, squeezing your glutes at the top. This is another movement that I love to stop just short of a full range rep to keep the tension flowing through the entire exercise. That is a really good stretching hamstring exercise. This one right here, you're gonna feel a nice pinch at the top of the movement in your hamstrings. So putting my heels up on a dumbbell, digging my heels into the dumbbell, pressing up, squeezing nice and tight at the top, your hamstrings, girlfriend, ooh. So as you can see, this was a superset, so I moved from each exercise without breaking in between. After this exercise, I can rest. Hip thrusts have become a must-do, number one top leg exercise. It's gonna absolutely demolish your glutes. Now, when you're using a barbell, of course, you can use quite a bit more weight. In a dumbbell situation, it's not gonna be as heavy, so I'm going to up the intensity by adding a hip circle. 
girl. Really connecting the mind to the muscle, doing a little bit of a slower movement, pausing at the top. I'm gonna pause, 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 go back down to really emphasize a lot of pressure in my glutes. Hip thrusts are a staple to my leg day. I will do some sort of variation of a hip thrust every single leg day. So this is a dumbbell hip thrust. I did add a hip circle here to up the intensity. Knees and ankles shoulder width apart, tucking my chin, tucking my ribs, and looking down. Pressing through my heels, squeezing nice and tight at the top. I like to pause there for just a second and then head straight back down. After you finish this variation, I'm going to move into a B stance. A B stance gives you the benefit of a single leg hip thrust with the stability of two legs. So 70% of the pressure is going to be in the foot that is flat on the floor. The other leg is mostly there for stability, but you will definitely feel it working there as well. This is a body weight exercise as well. If it's a bit too easy, don't worry. Add a dumbbell like I did in the first exercise, but this is a superset, so it might be a little too much to have that dumbbell on your hips for the entire superset. So just get in there and see how you feel. Moving into our next superset, this is our second to last superset, so we're almost there. This is a Bulgarian split squat, placing my back leg on the bench. Focus on your hip, knee, and ankle alignment. I don't want your knee wobbling from side to side. Chest up, lunging down, on the way up, pressing through your heel. This is another exercise that you'll see. You don't want to lock your knee out at the top, so stopping just short of a full range rep. You'll get a really good glute stretch at the end of this exercise. It's actually easier to tuck your toes underneath on your back foot on the bench, so I'm just not really sure why I put my foot through this pain. And then moving straight into jumping lunges. This is a variation for my beginner girls if Bulgarian split squats are a bit too difficult. Moving into your jumping lunges straight away. I also put a variation here. By the end of this superset, your quads are going to be murdered. We have murdered your quads. They're gonna be in pain. But right here I show you um, your beginner modification right here. Just take the jump out. If it's too, too much, your quads crying too much, don't worry, take the jump out, do a reverse lunge. All right, you guys, last superset here. It's going to be all about the hamstrings. Now, I have extremely, extremely stubborn hamstrings. I kind of think maybe they hate me. So I'm gonna do a superset of single leg, straight leg deadlifts into straight leg deadlifts. So hold on hamstrings. Your hamstrings should definitely feel quite a bit burnt out after this last set, but that's it. We're gonna make it through. You and I, we got this. <laughs> Our final superset of the day starts with a assisted Romanian deadlift. Now I introduced this assisted variation on my Instagram. You guys really, really enjoyed it. I know that this movement can be hard to do without the bench. So I still want all weight and pressure in the standing foot. The bench is only there to help balance you. Hinging at the hips, keeping my back flat, slight bend in my knee, pulling the hips in a back and forward movement. Another exercise, I stop just short of a full range rep to keep the tension throughout the entire movement. I actually love this variation because you're gonna get an insane stretch in this movement on your hamstring that usually you won't get when you're doing it without the bench. But once again, if it's too easy, no worries. Take the bench out, moving straight into a straight leg Romanian deadlift. So you're gonna have a slight bend in your knee, feet shoulder width apart, hinging at the hips, keeping your back nice and flat, stretching at the bottom, squeezing your glutes at the top. All right, you guys, that wraps up this entire dumbbell only leg workout. I hope that you guys enjoyed this workout. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and never forget to subscribe so you never miss a workout way again. I love you guys. The entire workout will be in the description box below. I love you, have a bomb workout. Until next time, I will see you next time.